ten powerful characters Sasuke never got to fight. Sasuke played a key role in many important battles in Naruto, though he never had the chance to test his power against a few elite shinobi. Sasuke Uchiha was a gifted ninja who displayed his arsenal of skills right from the early Naruto days. After training with Team 7 and learning from Orochimaru, Sasuke became quite powerful. And by the end of the Fourth Great Ninja War, he was the only shinobi capable of rivaling Naruto Uzumaki in battle. Over the years, Sasuke has been in some grueling encounters where he's fought to the best of his ability and proven himself as a terrific ninja against some of the mightiest shinobi. However, there were quite a few shinobi out there who he never got a chance to fight. 10. Tobarama Senju died before Sasuke's time. Tobarama Senju was the second Hokage of Kanahagakur and a mighty shinobi who had plenty of experience fighting the Uchiha. His talent as a shinobi was mind blowing. And he invented a multitude of powerful jutsu, including some that were considered forbidden. Tobarama died during the First Great Ninja War and, thus, could never test himself against Sasuke in battle. Although he was brought back using Edo Tensei in the Fourth Great Ninja War, he was bound by Orochimaru's powers and couldn't fight Sasuke even if he wanted to. 9. Hashirama Senju's eyes were always on another Uchiha. Known to be a legendary shinobi from the Warring States era, Hashirama Senju was a fighter like no other. Thanks to his incredible chakra reserves and the unique would release Kekiai Genkai. He was nigh invincible in battle. Furthermore, Hashirama Senju could also use Sage Mode, the power of which boosted his already magnificent strength further. Sasuke would have enjoyed a proper clash against the god of Shinobi. But Hashirama was no longer alive during his era. 8. Hiruzen Sarutobi wouldn't fight a kid from his own village. Hiruzen Sarutobi took over from where Tobarama Senju left and went on to become the longest reigning Hokage of the village. Being a student of Tobarama Senju and even Hashirama, Hiruzen was a monster in combat who was said to have surpassed all the Kage in his prime. He possessed knowledge of all the jutsu that existed in Kanahagakur, including the Haydn techniques, and could use them as well. Sasuke would have relished a fight against Hiruzen, but he was simply too young to take him on at the time. Additionally, Hiruzen would never seriously fight a kid of his own village. 7. Tsunade Senju was a ninja rivaling Orochimaru but never encountered Sasuke in battle. Tsunade Senju is quite a powerful kunoichi right now, but she is well beyond her prime at the moment. In the Naruto series, Tsunade was strong enough to hold her own against even the most skilled ninja. Her Byakugu allowed her to take on ninja like Madara Uchiha in battle, which is quite impressive. To say the least. Sasuke would certainly have had a hard time dealing with Tsunade before the Fourth Great Ninja War. Interestingly, the two never confronted each other directly on the battlefield. 6. Minato Namikaze was long dead during Sasuke's era. Minato was the fourth Hokage of Kanahagakur and an incredibly powerful ninja who was considered by many to be a generational talent. His skills were such that Iwagakure issued a run at sight order to their shinobi during the Third Great Ninja War so that they could avoid him. Minato was powerful enough to defend the village and even fight two monsters at once in Abito Uchiha and the Ninetales all the while protecting his family. He would have given Sasuke a run for his money, but Minato tragically died the day Naruto was born. 5. Might Guy never had to deal with Sasuke. Might Guy was a taijutsu expert from Kanahagakur who led Team Guy. During his time as an active jonin, Guy was unstoppable and even the likes of Madara Uchiha couldn't help but praise him. When making use of the eight inner gates, Guy was capable of seriously injuring Madara despite him being the Jinchuriki of the Tentails. Had Sasuke ever fought Guy, 
he would have found it to be quite a difficult fight but. Thankfully, Guy wasn't responsible for Sasuke's actions so the two never had a real reason to fight. 4. Shusui Uchiha was a genius who looked after Sasuke like an older brother. Shusui was a shinobi held in special regard even among other Uchiha clan members, which just goes to show that he possessed tremendous skill. As a jonin of Kanahagakure, Shusui was strong enough to take on most foes in battle and emerge without any harm thanks to his skills with the Mangekyo Sharingan. His Kotoam at Tsukumi was an incredible genjutsu with which he could beat even those who were stronger than him. Sasuke would never have fought Shursui because the latter looked after him as an elder brother and loved him quite a lot. 3. The Third Rakage died in the Third Great Ninja War. Known to be a monstrous fighter, the Third Rakage was an incredibly skilled ninja from Kumogakure who died fighting 10. 000 Shinobi at once. His lightning style armor was famous for being impenetrable, and the only wound he ever received was his own doing. Sasuke fought his son, the fourth Reikage, and did fairly well, so it's safe to assume that he would have fared well against the third Reikage as well if he were alive during his time. 2. Pain was defeated by Naruto Uzumaki before he could even meet Sasuke. The leader of the Akatsuki, at one point, Nagato, aka Pain, was quite a powerful ninja who had the powers of the Rinnegan at his disposal. Thanks to his skill with this eye, he was incredibly difficult to beat, and some even thought him to be a god. He was strong enough to crush the entire Kanahagakure and continue fighting later on. Which showed how great a fighter he was. If Sasuke had ever fought him, it certainly would have been an intriguing match. Ultimately, however, Nagato gave his life to undo all the damage he did to Konoha and died in the process. Ensuring the two never meet. 1. Jiraiya was too busy with big missions to worry about Sasuke. Just like Tsunade Senju and Orochimaru, Jiraiya was a member of the legendary San Nin and one of the finest ninja Kanoha had ever produced. He was quite a powerful shinobi whose skills were on the level of a kage, if not above. Jiraiya was strong enough to take on pain in battle, and had he known their secret, he could have defeated them as well. Although he would have been an excellent opponent for Sasuke Uchiha, he was always busy training Naruto and going on important missions. As a result, he never got the chance to take the Uchiha on. <laughs>